Well, thousands of students are struggling with online learning now. And Duval County Schools sent a letter to parents suggesting their child return back to school. On your side, Troy Kless is joining us live tonight with how one teacher feels about this decision. Troy. Thank you, Anthony. We're outside of DCPS headquarters where tonight they're actually going to be holding a meeting. But outside of these walls and on social media, a lot of the chatter is about a letter sent to parents that one teacher I spoke with feels is offering a solution that's not right at this time. Chris Guerreri teaches life skills to transitioning kids in person. A colleague shared this letter sent to one of her students. I mean, just kind of give me kind of your thoughts when you saw the letter and read through it. Just kind of what what's your main concern? Well, what, what happened was a, a teacher reached out to me and said that a parent had reached out to them to ask why their student was failing and why are they learning about it through a letter? Well, the teacher was like, well, your student's not failing. They have a B average. This letter sent to more than 17,000 students. DCPS says students who got it either had a D or F in at least one online class, less than 90% attendance, or a low score on the district's progress monitoring assessment test. In that letter, parents have three options. They can tell the school that they're already electing to go back to brick and mortar for quarter four, or elect to cancel Duval homeroom and start brick and mortar on March 23rd, or they can elect to stay in online courses. The district says if a failing student stays online, it could result in a student being held back. Guerreri thinks this does not require a one size fits all approach. I think it would have to be taken on an individual basis, but it doesn't sound to me that's what the district did. Now, parents have until March 12th to make a decision, and if you want to figure out how you can do that, you can go to this story on firstcoastnews.com. We're live at DCPS. Troy Kless, First Coast News, on your side.